I love this. Okay, we did this in class. We took a test on this, right? So the Earth, you know, here's the sun, here's the Earth. Right? An asteroid strikes the Earth in such a way as to change its orbit uh, without destroying the Earth, right? Uh, anyway, just let's just go with it, right? Okay, so here's the, you know, the Earth moving around the sun, and the asteroid goes smack into it. It slows down, right? Uh, remember what happens is... is uh, when we slow down, the gravity becomes stronger, centripetal, centripetal, or let's use the F word, right? The centrifugal force flinging us outward, which doesn't really exist, right? Uh, becomes less because we speed up, right? Or we, we slow down, sorry. Right, so what happens is we fall toward the sun, and we speed up, and then we get flung out, which slows us down. We'll end up being going through that same spot where the asteroid hit us, but our, our orbit will become, if it was circular, it will become more elliptical. Um, it's going to speed up as it gets closer to the sun. It'll be slower when it gets to that point. Um, try to figure out how to get two marks out of that. Okay. All right. And then C says outline in terms of the force acting on it, why the Earth remains in a circular orbit around the sun. If you recall, let's draw another picture here, right? If it's in a stable circular orbit, um, understand that uh, to go in a circle, it requires a centripetal force. Otherwise, we'd go in a straight line at a constant speed. Right, and so the force of gravity. We're getting trying to look for two marks here, right? Maybe you talk about the force of gravity, and then you talk about the fact that to go in a circle requires a centripetal force, and uh, the the gravity provides that. Anyway, just thoughts.